hello and welcome back so in this one we are going to start adding the update product functionality to our program all right and since this is basically the same thing as this one we are going to just copy all of this all right so copy everything in the add product fields and let's go to where we update our things which is right here all right go down here paste this in as it is and all we have to do here is obviously change this from add product to update all right and the last thing we want to change is this and we want to change this to update and actually i was wrong the last thing we want to change is this one all right so update here Control us to save and we are done with this. The next thing we want to do is actually update our product. All right. So actually, I'll just copy this one or not. All right. Let's go down here and define update product, which takes self and all of those things. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go to my add user add product right here and i'll just copy all of this because i don't feel like doing these by hand so i'll just copy all of this stuff and go to my update product where is it right here and i'll just paste all of this in all right now let's get our content so content now is going to be equal to self dot ids dot screen product contents right there all right and we just want to clear our widgets so content dot clear widgets all right and now let's simply update our product and this is basically this all right so self dot products products all right dot update one all right and this takes a dictionary and we are going to be using the product code to update all right so product underscore code here and the product code is supposed to be the code we have already all right and with this we are now going to set so the dollar sign set and well what do you want to set now we want to set all of this stuff all right so what i'll do is i'll just go up here and copy all of that stuff which is right here all right so let's copy all of this up to here copy all of that and now let's go back to our update product and what we want to set is all of that all right so that is done we have redundancy here so we just remove just one and we are all set okay so now what we need to do is of course refresh this so down here we are simply going to say pros again is equal to self to get products all right now stock table is equal to a data table instance and the table for this data table is going to be prods all right until now we need to add this to our content so add widget what do you want to add prods stock tables all right all right control us to save and let's run our application down here all right maximize this and manage products update a product i'm actually going to update this one all right so one two three four five six seven eight and the product name i'm going to rename this to three whiskey and that is one problem we're going to be fixing in a second 
and this is going to be about 750 in stock we have well we have about 998 and 89 all right and we sold 23 product order what was this ordered well nothing and this will be a date now so i'll just enter in 15. update this product and now let's go down here and as you can see now we have three ships and it's been updated all right so this is it now let's what we're going to do to fix this is pretty simple all we have to do is on our text inputs or they right here all you have to do for basically all of these is disable multi-line all right so you, sim you simply say multi-line is equal to false for all of our text inputs as well as these and all of those here and for adding users too all right so that would be your homework do just that comma here all i have to do is comma here multi-line is equal to false all right otherwise this is it guys we're going to stop here leave a like and share this video if you like this video Leave a comment if you have any questions and definitely check out my Udemy course. Alright, it's only about 11 bucks. Link will be in the description. See you later.